Over time, as database usage grows, you may find that your initial database startup settings are no longer optimal. One important setting that determines database performance is the number of database buffers. Database buffers are used to hold in memory application data that is read from and written to disk. The more database buffers are available, the less frequently database I.O. occurs and the better the database performance. In this video, we'll show you how to monitor and tune database buffers of an OpenEdge database called MyDB Online. We assume that OpenEdge Enterprise RDBMS is installed on a multiprocessor system and is used to run the MyDB database. We also assume that the database is running. First, we launch ProENV and switch to the directory where the MyDB database resides. Next, let's take a look at the database buffer setting for the database. As you can see, we have set the startup value for the number of database buffers to 16. For this video, we simulate database activity by running a couple of batch programs. These programs generate transactions against the customer and order tables. While transactions are being generated, we monitor the primary hits percentage for the database. The primary hits percentage is a key measure of database buffer performance. It represents the likelihood that the data that users are looking for already resides in database buffers. As a best practice, the primary hits percentage should be at least 95%. Notice that the primary hits percentage is currently 80%. This indicates that there are not enough database buffers in the primary buffer pool to accommodate the transactions being generated. To solve this performance issue, we increased the number of database buffers from 16 to 32 online. Then we monitor the primary hits percentage again. Notice that the primary hits percentage has gone up to 100%. We now have a sufficient number of database buffers to achieve optimal performance. If our primary hits percentage had still been below 95%, then we would go back and increase the number of database buffers again until the percentage became at least 95%. You have now seen how to monitor and tune database buffers of an OpenEdge database online. To learn more about database performance tuning, take the course Progress OpenEdge Database Performance Tuning. 